Last week, I made a video about DeepSeek v3, and it caused a huge stir in the global AI community. Two days ago, a Chinese DeepSeek released the inference-based large-scale language model DeepSeek R1 as open source. It's said to perform just as well as OpenAI's most accurate inference model, O1. What's even more impressive is that it is an incredibly price-breaking model with an API price of less than 1 25th of OpenAI O1. On top of that, it's been open-sourced under the highly flexible MIT license, so anyone can download and use the model. As soon as the R1 model came out this time, it not only refuted the previous statement of distilling OpenAI O1, but the official also directly said, we can tie with the open-source version of O1. It is worth mentioning that R1 breaks through the previous model training methods and does not use any SFT data at all. It only trains the model through pure reinforcement learning. This shows that R1 has learned to think about problems by itself, which is actually more in line with the human thinking rule. While I wanted to develop the RAG chatbot, I found that Langchain made huge updates before I developed the RAG chatbot with it. Unfortunately, it does not remember the conversation content like ChatGPT, and it also cannot input new data or be trained to answer specific questions like a customer service chatbot. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will upload a book PDF that includes images and then ask the chatbot a question. Summarize this book. Feel free to ask any questions you want. If you look at how the chatbot generates the output, you will see that the PDF file stores its content in a temporary file, processes it with PDF Plumber Loader to extract complex data like tables and cleans up the temporary file. It uses Semantic Chunker to split documents into semantic chunks and FAST for efficient similarity-based search. The retriever finds the top three most similar chunks for a query and uses History Aware Retriever to enhance the agent's ability to incorporate the entire conversation history into the retrieval process. It also integrates context chain for external input data and docs chain for conversation records, using create retrieval chain to form a complete retrieval process. It handles context aware responses by verifying if documents are uploaded, retrieving context and generating responses with a retrieval augmented generation chain. By the end of this video, you will understand how DeepSeek R1 is trained and how to use DeepSeek R1 with retrieval augmented generation. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. DeepSeek R1 is characterized by its post-training using reinforcement learning with large-scale language models typically developed through three steps, pre-training, where a large corpus creates a model to predict the next word, supervised fine-tuning using high-quality, human-created instruction response pairs to fine-tune the model for specific tasks, and reinforcement learning with human feedback where humans evaluate the model's output and use the score as a reward to update the model. DeepSeek R1 reportedly performed reinforcement learning, especially step three, on a large scale, and explored an approach applying reinforcement learning directly without conventional SFT called DeepSeek R10, later adding supervised fine tuning to complete DeepSeek R1. This method is said to have enhanced the model's internal thought process chain of thought and self-verification as effective handling of the chain of thought usually requires some supervised fine-tuning data and human labels. Yet, DeepSeek R10 claims to have achieved inference power through RL alone, bypassing supervised fine-tuning. This approach reduces the cost of large-scale data collection and enables self-correction for unknown tasks and complex situations. Although models not fully trained with SFT still face issues such as somewhat difficult to read text and unintended multilingual content. Let us now explore step by step and unravel the answer to how to create a RAG APP. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. The next step is the usual one, 
where we will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. PDF Plumber Loader is a very powerful tool for processing complex structured data such as tables from PDF files. It can extract text, images, tables, fields, etc. Semantic Chunker splits text into chunks based on semantic similarity, ensuring that related content stays together in the same chunk, and so on. Please, if you want to know more about the latest LangChain upgrade, where I will explain it in detail, I create a function to handle an uploaded file using a temporary file to store its content. I then process the PDF with PDF Plumber Loader to process complex structured data, such as tables from PDF files, ensuring I clean up the temporary file afterwards to keep the system tidy. Finally, I return the extracted data for further use. I create a function to process a list of documents and build a retriever for similarity-based searches. First, I use the semantic chunker with open AI embeddings to split the documents into smaller chunks while preserving semantic relationships, ensuring related content stays grouped together. After confirming the splitting process, I developed a vector store using face, which organizes the chunks for efficient similarity search. Finally, I return a retriever that can find the top three most similar chunks for a given query, making the document retrieval process both accurate and efficient. I create the init UI function to set up a user-friendly interface for uploading and analyzing PDF documents using Streamlit. First, I configure the page with a title and descriptive header. I then initialize session state variables to manage the retriever, chat history, and upload status. Next, I provide a file uploader widget for users to upload PDF files. Once a file is uploaded, I process it to extract its content, create a retriever using getRetriever from docs, and store it in the session state for further use. Finally, I notify the user of the successful document processing with a success message. I create the get related context function to improve the retrieval of relevant information in a conversational system. First, I initialize the Olama model, DeepSeek R1, to process user inputs. Then, I define a prompt template that combines the chat history and user input, instructing the model to generate a search query based on the ongoing conversation. Finally, I use Create History Aware Retriever to enhance the agent's ability to incorporate the entire conversation history into the retrieval process. In this function, I designed a function that integrates two core chains, context, chain, responsible for finding external input data, responsible for finding conversation records. Finally, use create retrieval chain to create a chain that can retrieve conversations and external input data and complete a chain that can allow natural conversations. The conversation record needs to create a list storage by itself, which is chat history the part. In this function, I handle the process of generating a context-aware response for a given query. I start checking if the necessary documents are uploaded. If no documents are uploaded, I return an error. Once the documents are verified, I retrieve a context chain to access relevant information from the uploaded documents. If retrieving the context fails, I return an error. I then create an RAG chain that combines the context with the conversation history and the user's query to generate a response. Finally, I invoke the RAG chain, process the response, and return the generated answer. In this function, I set up and display a chat interface for user interaction. First, I loop through the stored chat history and display both user and AI messages in the chat. Then, I provide an input where the user can type a new question. If the user submits a query, I call the getResponse function to generate an answer, and then I update the chat history with the new message and response. The launch of DeepSeek R1 is a technological breakthrough and a key milestone in AI's democratization. Its open approach is reshaping our view of AI, allowing more people to contribute to its development. Understanding concepts like the retrieval chain and the conversation, retrieval chain is crucial for using LangChain. As long as you understand the principles of these two chains, you can not only know the operating principles behind customer service chatbots made with language models, but also enable us to do similar applications. However, LangChain is not just that. Many functions and tips need to be learned to create language model-related applications.